Hey everybody, Mike Day here with everything about concrete.com. So in this video, we're going to show you how to remove concrete sealer from concrete. And in specific, old white acrylic concrete sealer, whether it's a water-based or a solvent-based sealer. So if you're watching this video, you probably got some concrete that looks kind of like this. It's got some old sealer on it. It's flaking off, it's peeling off, it's turning kind of white. And you want to know how to remove it. What's the best way to remove it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to remove that. Actually, three ways. Um, there's, and there's some other ways to do it, but these are the three ways I've found is the best ways to do it. So, concrete acrylic concrete sealer turns white like this if it's been on the concrete too long. Uh, it degrades in the sun. If it gets moisture underneath it, it starts turning white. It starts peeling off from the concrete. So, that's why it looks like that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to clean off the concrete. Get any loose dirt and debris off it. Just get it cleaned off best you can. You can use a, a leaf blower like I'm using here. You could use a push broom. But just get all the, all the dirt off it and stuff like that and then we can get started. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out how, if it's a water-based sealer or if it's a solvent-based sealer. And the way we do that is with some xylene like I got right here. So we're going to take a little bit of xylene and we're going to dump it on the concrete. Let it sit for 20 or 30 seconds and then we're going to wipe it off. And if it's tacky under the concrete, if it's sticky, tacky or gooey, then you got a solvent based sealer. If it's not, then you got a water based sealer. So that's how you figure out if you've got a water based sealer or a solvent based sealer. So if you've got a water-based sealer on there, probably the easiest way to remove most of that is with one of these little units here that you just hook to the end of a, a pressure washer. And you know, you're going to want to have a pretty good size pressure washer, probably a 3,500, 3,000 or a 3,500. And that goes right on the end of the wand like that. And you're going to see here in a second just how much that, that white sealer will come off just by using this unit right here. And whether you got a water-based or a solvent-based sealer, this is what I would do first, is I'd try to remove as much as I possibly can with this method right here. And you can see, you can see just how much of that white is coming off, that white sealer. This is gonna remove a lot of it. And in the case of water-based sealers, once you do this right here, let it dry out, you might be able to just reseal right over this. This is what I did on this job, so I got, 90 some odd percent of the sealer off just by going over it twice with this thing let it dry out for a couple days and then i resealed right over and it looked like brand new now if solvent based sealers you might not be able to get it all off that way those tend to bond a little bit better but you might remove some of it so i would get as much off as you can just with this method and then we'll move on to uh how I'm going to show you how to get solvent based sealers off. Now if you don't have one of those units you can just try pressure washing it like this. This doesn't work quite as good but it will help remove some of it. And then we can move on to trying to get that solvent based sealer off. So if you've got a solvent based sealer again we're going to use xylene like this right here. Xylene is going to thin that sealer. It's going to turn it back into a gooey kind of a kind of gooey sticky loosen, loosened up kind of mess almost but this is one of the best methods for getting solvent based sealer that is that white sealer right there off from your concrete so you can get it cleaned off let it dry out and then reseal it again to make it look like new so you take some of this xylene right here and there's a couple ways you can apply it to your concrete you can you can put it in a pump up sprayer like this that's built for solvent based uh, type fluids this is a this is an extreme uh, it's pump up sprayer it's, it's stainless steel and then you can just spray it on like this apply it you know quite liberally to your to your white sealer let it soak in for a little bit and then you're gonna brush it around so this is one way you can apply it and again you're gonna wanna have, have you know rubber boots on you may even wanna have a mask on uh, just so you don't wanna breathe the fumes but put that stuff on really, really good. Or you can just dump it right out of the can like this. Dump it right on. We're gonna wanna, you don't wanna let it dry up. So you're gonna wanna do sections at a time. You know, you don't wanna do a very big section. And then just brush it around, scrub it in. Work up that sealer is what you wanna do. 
get that sealer nice and loose, you'll feel it. It'll just start loosening up pretty quick. Um, that xylene's pretty, pretty, pretty strong, so you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get any on you, and you don't wanna really want to breathe the fumes. But it'll, it'll definitely loosen up that sealer. And then once you give it, you know, scrub it around for a little bit like this, then you go back to pressure washing it. And you're going to just go over and over at each section, do a section at a time. And that's going to start loosening up and, and removing that sealer. And then the sealer, the sealer is just going to kind of work its way off the deck. If it doesn't, then you can just kind of rinse it off. You'll see it coming up. You'll be able to tell. See that white kind of foam? That, most of that is sealer right there. That's coming off. If it doesn't run off, you know, if the water doesn't take it right off the deck, so you can see some of it's running off right there on its own, then just do your section like this and then just get your hose out and spray that section down just to get it cleaned off so it doesn't dry back on. And then what it'll, you'll see right here in a minute what it's going to look like after you're done. Now just look at the edges. See the edges? That's all that acrylic white concrete sealer that's come off and now the concrete is really nice and clean and after that dries out it's gonna look really really dull but you can just uh, seal back over it and it'll look brand new again so here's the next method is just using some type of sand blast or soda blast or wet media blast there's three different types there and this is gonna completely remove any type of sealer whether it's water based or solvent based acrylic sealer it's going to take it right off, take, take it right back down to bare concrete. You can see that right there. It's taking it right down. Now what this will also do is it'll remove any uh, color imperfections too. You can see it's taken whatever color is on the surface, it's taken that off with the sealer. So you may have to recolor it after, but that's pretty easy nowadays. With uh, There's all kinds of manufacturers out there that make products that will recolor the surface before you seal it. Um, teak wash is one that comes to mind perma teak so you can just re re I'm going to show you here in a minute just how to do that but this is the wet blasting method this is a little bit less dustier but it's still it's still somewhat messy you can see how he's removing all that sealer right off the surface it works really really good this is going to get probably you know 99% of the sealer so when you're done when you get all the sealer removed this is what it looks dry you can see it takes the sealer off and it takes some of the color off and then you can use these companies who have these sealers have this have these same type of re, re uh, teak wash methods to recolor it again you just brush that stuff on and it puts the color right back on the surface and then you can seal right over that once it dries so you give it a day or two to dry out and then you can roll your you roll your acrylic sealer right back on and it's going to make your concrete look like new again you can spray it on too. This is what I prefer is to spray it on with another one of these stainless steel sprayers. And we like using D1 sealer from DecoCrete Supply. I'll have a link for them down in the description. You can check that out. Um, that's a really, really good sealer. It lasts a really long time. You can see here I am on that job again, resealing this. I'm using the same type of sprayer, spraying it on, and then we're back rolling it right after to make sure it goes on nice and even. We'll typically put on two really light coats of this. This stuff dries really fast. But this is this is how you remove your sealer, guys. Get that old white flaky sealer off, uh, clean it, let it dry, reseal it, and your concrete's gonna look like brand new again. You can see the left part is sealed, the right part isn't. You can see what a difference it makes just to put the sealer back on. And then you're back in business. Your concrete looks like brand new again. I mean, look at that. You could never even tell that had white old sealer on it. Um, just looks like brand new. That's how to, how to remove concrete sealer, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.